Good morning, guys. Happy Saturday. Filming a little weekend vlog this time. I promise I have clothes on. <laughs> Just woke up. It's 9.30. A little bit slower but i feel like the weekends like you need to sleep in even if it's just like 30 minutes just like give yourself a little break you know like i am a morning person in the sense of like i don't like to sleep for like ever like i'm not gonna wake up at 12 because i'm i genuinely feel like i'm wasting my day but if i can i am gonna sleep a little bit longer than like 8 30 or 9 or 9 30 even so slept in just a little bit but I'm gonna make some coffee. Sorry, that's loud. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna make some coffee starting the day off, right? Um, me and Tyler are gonna go hang out with one of my old coworkers also today. I'm so excited we're gonna go to Elefante later, which for as long as I've lived in LA and as long as Elefante's been open, I've never been. I, th I hope it's not one of those like overrated places because I went to this other place in Venice that I felt like was super overrated. And I feel like most LA places that get really hyped up like that, they're just like not really worth the hype. So I hope for at least my sake that the drinks are really good because it's like all that i really care about is like you gotta have like a bomb cocktail or something so we're going a little bit later like around 4 p.m so right around like when the sun is really like pretty and it's gonna be setting um so I think that's like the perfect time to go but i have some like shit also that i need to do today i've been sick for the past few days. Sorry, I'm trying to multitask. Let's do this and then we'll talk. Do you want some of my coffee or are you gonna make your own? Tyler? Tyler? Do you want some of my coffee or are you gonna make your own? Do you want some of my coffee? Okay. Anyways, like I was saying, I have been sick for the past few days and I know it's not COVID. Um, I just know myself and I feel like I put a little question on Instagram because I feel like something is going around. I've been hearing other people saying that like allergies and stuff and I know, <clears throat> do you hear that? I know. I gotcha. That was close. The devil was coming for me. Um, it's probably not the best position, but I'm gonna put you right back there. Um, I know when my allergies come around, I get really stuffy. I like have to have like either like a paper towel or a shirt in my nose just because it's just like running. And I was the sickest that I ever was in a while. Like I haven't been sick obviously because we've all been wearing masks. So I've been like really safe and stuff. And I feel like our immune systems are like almost like shocked by like, being out in the world again it's like whoa like any little thing is gonna get you so sick but my allergies were out of control i'm finally feeling a little bit better obviously you can hear my voice that i'm still like not 100 percent but i feel a lot better than i did a few days ago it was just so bad so i'm so happy that i'm feeling better we also were at Tyler's parents for like five days. I didn't vlog because it was just kind of craziness, but they went to a different state on vacation and we went down to watch Tyler's dog and the cat and the bird and we had to sleep in his parents' bed and I just think like being away from like my normal like bed and my routine, my body just was like, ah, and was not happy with me. So I'm finally feeling better. <clears throat> other than my voice, but I'm feeling better, which I'm very happy about. Gonna do a little weekend in my life, take you guys along today, tomorrow, and hopefully we got some fun stuff happening. Currently getting ready to 
head out. Me and Tyler are going to go to Tiffany's. But I realized that I have a bunch of really cute stuff from Urban Outfitters that I wanted to share with you guys. So this portion of today's vlog is a sponsored by Urban. I'm so excited to be working with them. I picked up some really cute pieces and just some like really good basics. You guys know I love and live for basics. Just like anything that I bring into my wardrobe, I want it to be something that like I really love and I'm going to keep for a long time. Um, I'm not just into like buying a bunch of things that I'm gonna get rid of so first thing is this bra I got a bunch of bras that I'm so really 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 excited about so I'm not gonna try them all on because some of them are a little bit more like revealing um, but these are probably the most comfortable bra I have ever like wore in literally ever I think I shared um, a Victoria's Secret haul a while ago just on a few bras but I really love the unlined unpadded just like really comfortable bras I don't like wearing bras in general so if I'm gonna have to wear one I want it to be super comfortable so this one is completely unlined unpadded it's just a V style it doesn't have your typical bra clasp so it makes it really comfortable um, and I have just been living in this the past few days um, I don't know what's happening with my shirt, but this little shirt is just from uh, Princess Polly. You guys have seen me wear this. So this is kind of like how I would wear this on like more like a hot summer day. Just have it paired with like a little chain belt, add a little bit of detailing on this midriff area since it is like kind of like a really cropped top if you were to wear it like this. Um, and then the shorts. I also really like, again, you guys know I do not like booty shorts, so these ones cover the butt really nicely, and I think I got a size 26 in these, I believe, yes, size 26, and they fit really nicely, not too tight, not too loose, just like the perfect fit short, and this is exactly how I would wear this with some Air Force ones, so next thing let me just show you guys all of the bras because again like i said i'm not gonna put them on because a lot of them are really revealing but they're super comfortable so if you guys are looking for new bras i definitely recommend shopping at urban i had no idea i'm gonna sit down i had no idea that they had like really comfy bras like this all right so this bra is Obviously your typical bra shows got to show your nipples, but I really like it because again, it's unlined unpadded has that bra like clasp at the back also has a little bit of detailing. So if you were to wear like a shirt that shows your back a little bit and you want like lines, I think this would be really cute. So just kind of like a lacy triangle style bra. Um, I got a few in brown. So I got this one that is a little bit mesh which i don't mind um i've been really into brown bras lately as well so this one is brown has your typical bra clasp again triangle unlined and padded this one is a little bit more of like a i'd say like a stretchy like spank style material so you could totally again wear this as like a top um and it's really comfortable like super stretchy really comfortable doesn't even feel like you have a bra on and then this black one again is similar to this brown mesh one but it's just black so a little bit mesh has the bra clasp at the back triangle style and just really comfortable like these bras are so comfy um, and then I have one more. Okay, so here's the last one. I already wore it because I just, every time I get a package in, I'm like, let me wear the items immediately. But I had to get one in white. Again, really stretchy material and just like so comfortable, you guys. Okay, let's try on some other things. I have two really cute tops. Here's the first top. Black has kind of like the polo collar style um, and would look so cute with this outfit as well. Just uh, just great basics. So if I were to not wear a bra, this would obviously show a lot of the side, which I don't mind a side boob because I have really small boobs, so nothing is gonna be popping out. But I love how just like comfortable and easy this top is. You could wear it with anything, with jeans, with shorts, kind of how I'm wearing now. And this is just a great basic to have when you want just something really simple, but cute for the summer. 
And then I got the same thing in white. So let me try that on so you guys can see. Here is that top in white, literally the exact same thing. It's just white. I probably wouldn't wear it with a bra, but I'm just showing you for good measure. So cute and really, really flattering. I think if you have bigger boobs, um, the side boob you may not like, but if you have smaller boobs, I think this is really flattering. It makes your boobs look a little bit bigger, which I don't mind having having the illusion of bigger boobs because I don't have boobs at all. Okay, so this little dress, well, not really a little dress, but it's kind of like a longer dress that you can either wear with heels, that's kind of how I envision wearing it, like heels, kind of like easy day, going out for drinks, maybe like chill beach vibe. Um, but then as I put it on, I thought that this would be like the perfect beach cover up because my bra kind of looks like a beach top, so, um, just imagine like you can have this open and use it as a beach cover-up either going to the beach the pool Whatever. Um, I think it's the perfect size for that it covers the butt and the back But it still gives you like that flowiness. It's really like light linen material And I think with all black or a white bikini just like anything like that would look really cute next I got this pair of jeans whenever I'm shopping online I for the most part always try to look for like that next jean that like I love super comfy boyfriend style high-waisted and I wanted to try these because these are kind of like a baggier fit which I'm kind of into like the whole like girly on top tomboy on bottom look so these jeans are definitely baggier but I'm kind of into it. I got a size, I believe, 26 on these, and I think I definitely could have went smaller. I could have gone, like, 25 just because I have a little bit of room. But then at the same time, like, it's it's comfy. Like, it gives, like, that comfy, like, chill, not-too-try-hard vibe, um, which I'm not mad at. So if if I really feel... Like, I want to get these tailored. I probably will. But as you can tell, they don't, like, look too crazy um, in this bigger size. And I just love it with this, like, little chain. I think it's just, like, really pretty. Um, just, like, cool girl summer vibe. They bunch up a little at the bottom. These are the BDG brand. And they're actually really comfortable for denim. Like, I would think that this, like, denim would be a lot heavier and, like, kind of constricting but they're really comfy not too rigid and they feel like really nice quality I really like them so these are definitely like a bigger baggier style jean so if you're not into that these are not for you but I think they give like a really cool girl vibe so that's the last clothing item and then I got a few bags. So I love little shoulder bags right now. I think they're very in. So I got this one in white and then it has like a little flower as the like closure, which is cute. So just wear that, throw it on, neutral outfit. Really cute little shoulder bag. Does not fit a lot, but I don't carry that much in my purse anyways. Just like lipstick, a few credit cards, um, and then my phone and camera. So that amount of stuff fits in here. And then I got the same one in black. I have been using this as like my bag um, for the past few days and I think it's really cute. So just like an easy, simple bag. Sometimes you just don't have like the simple things in your closet. And I realized I didn't have like simple, like good bras, like good, like cute little purses and stuff like that for like the summertime. So that is everything that I picked up from Urban. I actually have one more item that I'm still waiting on. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys everything that I got in this video. I will have everything linked down below with sizes and everything. And then I will also link the items that I'm still waiting on just so you guys can see them, click the link and shop if you want. Um, but I'll definitely show it to you in another vlog when it comes. But just wanted to share all those pieces. Hope you guys enjoyed and we are going to head off to Tiffany's. So. Tyler actually got me this ring for my birthday. I don't know if I ever showed it, but it's really meaningful, really symbolic, and it's basically representative of my dad. Um, if you guys know, my dad passed away earlier this year, so this is probably like my favorite gift that I've ever gotten in my entire life. And we're gonna go to Tiffany's is where Tyler got it, and we're gonna get it engraved. So my dad used to always, every time I called him, he would always say, how are you doing my little pumpkin? Like, how's my little pumpkin doing? Like that was always 
his like term of endearment for me was my little pumpkin. So we're gonna go to Tiffany's and get that engraved in this ring. So I'm super excited to get it back hopefully soon and then have it like say my little pumpkin in there and like cursive. So I think that's gonna look really cute and it's just gonna mean that much more. So I always wear it, it's just on my index finger. It's a little infinity symbol and it's just like my favorite piece of jewelry ever. So we're gonna go and get that done. Oh my God, it's so hot. And then we're gonna come back. I'm probably gonna eat lunch. I need to figure out an outfit. I think that I wanted to wear these jeans, but I think it's a little bit too hot for that. So I may switch out to something else, but I'll show you guys my outfit in a little bit. Okay, nothing groundbreaking, but I feel like this is literally my uniform every weekend. The shorts that I just showed from Urban, same little thing, same bra. Princess Polly top, urban purse, Air Force Ones, and Amazon. It's sunny at the most days. You'll never see the sky if you keep looking down. All right, we're back home from Tiffany's. Didn't get anything, didn't buy anything at the mall, but I'm gonna make some sushi. We had some sushi last night. We have some leftover salmon and yellowfin. So I'm gonna make myself some sushi. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was finna write a song, but I've been hella stressed. But I looked in your eyes and noticed I'm hella blessed. Staring at you on the airplane, I ain't worried about nothing cuz you got me feeling like the Wayne Wade in no 3 a.m. You and me, we got the heat. Yeah. We also bought this like wasabi at Ralph's, so I'm going to put a little bit of this in my soy sauce. Please. please. And we got these really cute little like soy sauce dishes at the Asian market yesterday when we were picking up all the fish. And they're super cute. They're like perfect for soy sauce. They have like big like blue birds, I think, on them. Very like, what? What is sushi? Is it Japanese? Yeah. Japanese. Very Japanese. Um, I don't know about this wasabi, actually. It doesn't really like dissolve. Isn't wasabi supposed to dissolve? Yeah, that's good. No, it's okay. It's okay. That was success. Soy sauce is ready. And Tyler's making some cut rolls, but here's what I made. Making sushi is actually very hard. Like the sticky rice gets all stuck on you. I'm not sure how they make it at sushi restaurants. They're like obviously professionals. Um, this isn't the best presentation, but I'm sure it tastes good. So we have salmon on the left and then yellowtail on the right. These were just extra little pieces that we'll just like eat, I'm sure. And then Tyler's making some cut rolls. I have some leftover rosé from yesterday. So I'm gonna drink that. And then we're gonna get ready. I probably should get ready soon actually, after I eat. Probably just do like light makeup. I'm so excited for sushi, my favorite. I'm gonna have a piece without you. I'll just have this little piece. This little baby. It didn't really survive. Hmm. Those are his cut rolls. <laughs> I think you need the sticky rice for the cut roll. Oh, is this not sticky rice? No. Hmm. This is the rice that I It's still pretty sticky. I know, but it's not sticky enough. Total disaster. We also got, what kind of seaweed is this? Just seaweed salad. Oh, seaweed salad. They put this in pokey. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. So bomb. Yeah. Mm. Oh, there goes my rice. There goes my seaweed. Oh. 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 Toppled over. Oh. <laughs> mm. 
You want to make rice in there. Total mess. Mm -hmm. to get ready. I realized that it's going to take us a little bit to find parking and drive over there. So I'm trying to figure out like a very like simple but chic kind of effortless outfit. And I think we're going to go with this one. This is the top from Boo Boo. And I didn't want to be too revealing underneath because it's obviously white, so you're going to be able to see everything. So I just put on biker shorts underneath and then that same bra that I was wearing and you can't really tell anything and if you can it kind of just looks like shapewear. And then the shoes, literally my favorite shoes ever. I think I'm going to wear these every single chance I can get. They're just so freaking cute. I'll show you guys the full outfit. Okay, camera died. Well, I was trying to figure out what necklace to do. Um, I think I could do this one. This is also from um, Lily Clasp, but I don't know if it's too much. What do we think of this? Is that cute? Or should I do something that's like a little bit more down? Oh, these are the freaking, these are the struggles I deal with. Doing my lips very quickly going in with Kylie brown sugar and lip liner and um, why can't I speak? Lip liner and liquid lip. This is my go-to lip combo. Let me just do this really quick. I don't go all the way on the top with the lip liner. I try to make it more like my natural lip on the top just so it looks a little bit more realistic. Should be doing this in the car. Just like light feather on the top instead of like smearing it. See what I mean? Okay. And then I realized that I lost my Sephora lip gloss that I am obsessed with. So I'm definitely going to have to buy another one of those because I just like can't live without that lip oil. It's so good. Um, since I don't have it. I'm just gonna go in with my lip solve and hope that that does the same thing. Just like the glossy look, it looks cute. I'm not feeling this necklace. I think it looks weird. Okay, here is full outfit we need to leave. <sighs> Shirt from Boohoo, like I told you. Shoes, Steve Madden. Bag from Urban, I just showed in my haul. And then necklaces are Lily Clasp and Anna Luisa. Just kind of simple makeup and jewelry. I need to cut this little thing off, so I'm gonna do that, but I gotta head out. You got the summertime love. I work for your heart all night to the dawn. You stay with they switch stars. I know you're the one. They go and they come. You like the summer breeze. Do the trees. You like a getaway. Shoot with me. You like the summertime love. I pull up to your spot in the evening. Got a life and a pop for the weekend. Girl, I said you're the one, and I mean that. Yeah, I mean that. I mean that. I told my baby we can do what you want. I am back from the wax appointment. It wasn't that bad this time, actually. It did still hurt. Don't get me wrong but it definitely like did not hurt as much as the first time. The first time I was rookie, did not know what I was walking into, didn't know what I was getting myself into, but this time kind of knew, I think my body kind of knew and didn't hurt as much and it was like so quick, it took like 10 minutes. But we're back and I've just been chilling, filmed a huge skincare haul like probably the biggest skincare haul I think I've ever filmed. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. 
Um, it should or should not be up. If it's up, I will put it in the little cards. But if not, these are all of the products. I talk in depth about every single one of them. It is a very long video, a bunch of new brands that I've never tried, like Notorium, Origins, um, Kiehl's, Good Molecules, Glow Recipe, but then some of my tried and true ride or die products like the Ordinary, Paula's Choice, you guys know the deal. So whole bunch of new skincare. You guys better go watch that video if you want all the info on here. So I don't know what we're gonna do. It is Sunday, kind of have like no plans today, which is kind of the first time in a while that we haven't like had plans to like go do something or like go out or whatever. I know we went out yesterday. Um, I don't know what's happening. I know we went out yesterday with my old coworker, but today we don't have any plans. So I don't know what we're gonna do. We need to go run some errands, it's kind of boring stuff but we may try to go grab some food and maybe drink somewhere, we'll see. Try not to spend like too much money. Try to keep it chill, keep it cute. So, I don't know if I showed my outfit. I think I showed it earlier, but I didn't do like a breakdown. The bra is from Urban. Literally the most comfortable bra ever. Like I am just gonna be living in these bras as tops because they are so comfy. Um, a little over shirt is from Zara, biker shorts, Forever 21, Air Force Ones, and then this little chain belt that I got from Amazon, which is just like really cute and dainty. Adds like a little body jewelry. Love that. Oh, I didn't show you guys the new rug. So you guys know that we're trying to redo the office. It's been kind of on standstill right now. I need a undo my laundry everything in there is folded I just haven't put it away um but we're trying to redo the office kind of in a standstill right now but we did get a new rug which I really like I think it's like the perfect office rug it's the chevron print it is checkered yeah chevron checkered no not chevron checkered print um like diamond checkered and it's like light beige and then brown and I think it's perfect in this office. Like it's literally the perfect office rug. And I don't know if I showed these chairs. We got these on Facebook Marketplace a few months ago and kind of like a mix in print, but I like it. I'm not trying to have this room be too beige though. So we need to figure out how to bring some other color in here or even just like more white or something. Like definitely no more beige, but this rug I am obsessed with. We got it from rugs usa so i'll link it down below it was super affordable this is i think an eight by ten and it's huge like we had to push it all the way back to the end of the wall because this is a little bit of a smaller room but this is a really big rug like it's huge and it's really really nice quality like jute like not cheap quality at all but it was not like super expensive another thing in here is that eyesore this freaking eyesore um it's a pretty eyesore but you know in relationships you just have to compromise so i'm trying to live with it but tyler just got this bike for his birthday and obviously it's a nicer bike he doesn't want to lock it up outside so this is its new home in our office which was this my first choice no but you know what can i really do or say So I'm putting on a smile and I'm acting like I like it, but am I happy about a bike in my house? No, <laughs> but it is what it is. So we're going to go try to figure out something to do. It's a beautiful day outside, so we have to get out. There's like no point to stay in, so take you along with what we end up doing. I should probably get another camera battery, just in case. All right, so Tyler and I stopped at a little farmer's market. It's about over, we came a little bit late because we didn't really know it was even happening. But we stopped, got a little passion fruit juice. It's actually really good. And I don't know what we're gonna do now. Are we gonna go drink wine? Don't forget I got coconut water. 
Oh it yeah, was delicious. He, he got coconut water. I drank it all. Already. Yeah, he drank it all. But I'm gonna finish my juice. I tied my little shirt over myself like this. It's kind of cute. I love it. And I put on my Dodger hat because it's so bright outside, and I feel like my face is like just like burning up with all this sun. It's like not good, so I need to like cover my face more. It's like, mm -mm, this is not good. All right, what are we doing? Um, getting you a bike. Okay, new bike.